no, nothing really happens here. Actually, she, she makes some, she does some movements with her face, so I'll show that. So what I'm gonna do, so all this I don't really want right now. So I'm gonna split. now. There's two options. You can either split again, and then remove. And since uh, let's, that's one way. So what I did there was I made this an individual clip. Now there are three clips made out of this original first clip, and you know since this one has is now separate from both those, I can get rid of that. It'll be gone, and it will have absolutely no effect on the other clips. Now an easier way to do that is instead of having to uh, it's it's same effect. Let's say I want to do that here. Okay, that's when she starts doing that. Instead of uh, splitting it and then removing it, you could just set set start point. And what that does is that just deletes everything on that clip prior to that. So be careful when you're doing that. You don't want to accidentally delete anything earlier that you don't want. That only affects the clip. That's not actually the start point for the whole movie. That's just for that clip. Uh, so that's one. That's well, that's probably the more efficient way to do it. It really doesn't matter. All right. So here she's doing the thing. Now she stops. Let's repeat the process. Split. Now let's find that head movement. There you go. All right. Now set start point. So now, as you see, it kind of highlights when she's actually doing something. All right. So, all right. Let's see here. So Phoenix there. Does she do it? All right. So now, as you see, that is kind of a little choppy. So let's go back to the animations we were in before. Go back to animations. And let's just find the animation we want. Let's just do a regular fade. Those are definitely the most practical. So now that went from a rough uh, editing to smooth video, which is so much more pleasing to the eye. And uh, now we could do another fade here, but for the sake, that's what I would probably do. But for the sake of the video, I'll just do a different transition. Now let's say this transition is going by too fast. Now what you could do is, as you see here, when you're on animation, you see duration. So click on the clip you want, and let's say I want this to last a while. So let's make it a bit longer. And now when you watch, now you can actually see the transition is slower. So you know, sometimes very often, especially if there is uh, audio at the end of a clip, you know, the transitions could mess it up a little bit. So that is a real lifesaver, making it uh, longer. But more often than not, when you change it, you'll end up having to make it uh, shorter. Okay, now before I forget, you should always be saving. So let's save this here. And let's just give it a name, Pets. And now that we've given it a name and saved it, every time we don't have to name it anymore. We just have to click Save, and it'll save. So, you know, after every few minutes, after you do something maybe significant, or maybe you did something that would have been, you know, a bit of an asshole to do again, I'd always save it. All right, so. All right, so now what I like to do is that now we're moving to the dog. So, first of all, I like to, let's, uh, actually, no, before we do it, let's put the picture of the bird. So to move a clip, you make it blue, you, and then you just drag it, and then you'll see that little gray dot that means it's going to be put there. All right, so now we have the picture of the bird. Now, it's a, it's, a, it's a dark picture. Uh, you know, I'm not really going to go into any programs and edit that right now. So what I'm going to do is let's make a transition. Now, what I like to do is, uh, you know, when it's changing subject, like, you know, as you see here, even though it's changing, it's still the same footage, even though it's different clips. So with uh, those sort of transitions, I like to make them more subtle so you still feel like you're in the same clip. But when you're changing images, I usually like to make it uh, a bit more of a drastic transition. That's just my opinion. You know, it helps... Um, you know, it helps your viewers know when they should be changing the focus of what they're watching. See, that's a bit, that's much more of a drastic change. All right. Now, as you see here, this is a few seconds of just a still picture. And that could be a little bit boring. You never really see that, um, you know, in professional video. So what you can do is when you're on, well, do it. Yes. So when you're on animations, on the on the right over here, these are not transitions. These are actual video panning. So, all right. Let's make sure you make sure you're actually clicked on the clip you want. And uh, these kind of give you a diagram of the movement. So let's say uh, let's look at this picture. Okay. So I let's, let's say we want it going up and down. Here's one of that looks pretty cool. All right. 
So now, as you see, that gives it a bit of a movement, it gives it a bit of a life, and that's a much less boring clip now. Now, going back to what I said before about the text, which we put in the beginning, you don't actually have to make a separate title for text. You can also, you know, put text wherever you want. So, um, my bird's name is Sunny, uh, because of the sunny cheeks. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to home. Now, there's no, uh, until you actually make text, there won't be a separate, uh, bar for text. So, as you see here, don't do title again. Title will put in a whole other clip there, and that's an asshole to get away. Don't even, uh, let's not worry about that again. You really only want that in between clips. But if you want to go on the clip, you go to caption. Now, okay, so her name is Sunny, so. Sunny. Now, that's a bit hard to read, so. Highlight it. Now, let's make it bigger. Let's bold, you know, italicize. Just make it a bit more noticeable. So white is not the easiest color to see there, so let's make it red. Uh, what was the, oh, the other text is purple. Let's make it purple. Excuse me, make it purple again. No, it's not easy to see, is it? Uh, there we go. A different shade. Uh, yeah, I'm just messing around here. I don't really know. Uh, it's ready. Yeah, red's pretty easy to see. Let's just leave it at red for now. Now, aside from actually clicking caption instead of title, there's no effective difference uh, when you actually do anything with the text. It, it acts the same. So now let's click away from that, and it pretty much saves it there. So start from the beginning. Pets. And now, Sunny. Okay, I forgot to put in an animation. Let's do that there. Like I said, same way. Um, yeah, that's a nice, that works. All right. Okay, so now we have the picture here. That's where we were up to. Uh, now it comes to the clip of my dog.